Ventura by Anderson Pack. Anderson Pack is back with Ventura, his second album in five months. Following the trend of California city named albums, Ventura is a city next to Oxnard. Not really feeling the reception of his third album, Oxnard, can Pack get back on track? Here's our honest review of Ventura by Anderson Pack. Anderson Pack, Ventura. Yeah, man. You, you liked Oxnard, yeah. right? I don't know why people didn't like Oxnard. I mean, I remember I liked it. I was just like, you know, it was like something that immediately come back. But I went back and listened to it. I was like, it's still a cool album. Yeah, it's still dope. I mm-hmm. mean, I don't. I was just reading like what people were saying. People were like, yeah, this is this is whack, and he needs to go back to what he used to do. Well, I mean, maybe it was all part of the plan. He wanted two different albums, two different sounds. Well, it was actually supposed to be one album. Oh, word. Yeah, it was supposed to be Oxnard Ventura. Okay. So, oh, that makes sense so, then. Cause that, or at least that's what Dr. Dre announced. It kind of feels Instagram like that because when you listen to the album, it's like a clear transition. Mm-hmm. And like he said, it's like you're going somewhere and then you're coming back with a whole different vibe. Yeah. How you, about, how you feel about this album artwork? I thought it was pretty dope, man. Um, you know, anytime you use like an old school picture, I like that kind of effect. You know, it's like memories and everything like that. And, you know, the tape posted on it just gives it the old effect but it's cool man yeah i mean it's cool like a little photo album album picture mm-hmm. you know his handwriting's neat i wish my handwriting was that ah, neat. i feel that yeah, yeah his yeah. handwriting is fire uh <laughs> who talks about people's handwriting <laughs> <laughs> uh, i mean you know he's got his son on the cover he kind of mentions his son um he mentions his son in the song yeah I think so it's, yeah yada, it, yada, yada, i think it was yeah One, yep yada, yada, yada. Yada. Mm-hmm. uh and uh yeah it's, it's pretty cool not the best album cover I've ever seen. I still, out of Anderson Pax covers, I still like Malibu the most. Malibu's cover is fine. But this yeah. this is pretty cool. Yeah. The flow of this project, man, it like when it came on, man, I originally, I, I initially got like, man, Anderson Pack went and made a U turn from Oxnard back towards <laughs> Malibu. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the vibe of this. If you like yeah. Malibu, it just seemed like he kind of went back to that. There's still some slight elements that i got from oxnard as yeah. far as like he's still progressing forward even mm-hmm. though he kind of went back to the sound of like malibu and uh venice yeah you know what i'm saying like if you've heard those two projects that's kind of the, the direction this one took with a lot more guest appearances but we'll talk about that in a minute for me yeah um the flow is definitely you know you smooth kick back and relax and just enjoy the instrumentation because the production on this is beautiful and it's like some real live instrumental music with some soul a lot a lot of soul man, it's real dope look man the highlights well first of all i want to say one of the highlights is the way anderson pack used guest appearances on this project yeah the only guest appearance that even felt like it was there like you can listen to this whole project and not even notice there's actually anybody on yeah. the project with yeah. other than Henderson Pack. yeah the only one that seems like it's actually there and it's like somewhat intrusive is Andre, Andre 3000 yep. feature on come home yep it's dope that he got a verse from Andre 3000 because you know he only comes out of a damn hole <laughs> twice a year for for something yeah so yeah. we'll get him one more time in 2019 and you won't see him again yeah but uh it was still a dope feature but everybody else the elements they added they kind of just lent their voice yeah. to the song and and gave it like different harmonies with them because having smoky that is so dope like yeah. it sounds like that should have happened yeah. you know you can feel like he got his vibe from smoky layla hathaway gave you some nice smooth runs jasmine sullivan like Man, if he would have let Jasmine actually just let sing, her, just, just sing, let her sing a little sing bit. It's a little bit. Uh, Sonya Elise, she gave you some nice little melodies. Brandy kind of gave you a little bit extra, and I wasn't really feeling the Nate Dog feature like that, but we'll get into that, or I'll get into that in my, uh, you know, lowlights. But uh, songs make it better is crazy. Uh, Reaching Too Much is dope yes. as well. Uh, yada Yada is really crazy. Yeah. King James is, I love that ever since the first time I heard it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, oh, the um, the thing I wanted to mention on reaching too much when the beat transitions, when it kind of goes and speeds up, I was just like, man, it, it, it kind of took you back to that Malibu sound yeah, for a minute. Like, yeah, it I really just, felt like it. I was just in shock that it just sounded so smooth. Yeah, yeah. And uh, chosen one. Those are all like my really big highlights on this joint. Yeah, man. Starting off with "Come Home," it's, it set the tone, and just you know when I heard them drums and just all the orchestra in the background it just sounds so beautiful and I, I was sitting there thinking the whole time like how is andre gonna rap on this like what way he's gonna do it and then the cut it was perfect uh make it better man 
that's just smooth, man. It's just so, so, so smooth. I like the minimal use. Like, because, you know, when you tend to look at stuff that says featured somebody, you're like expecting a whole verse or something like that. But like you said, the minimalistic ways they use the features added on, it, it was perfect. Reaching too much, man. Yo, normally it's like I get tired of a six, seven minute song, but I could play this over and over, man. Like it, they, they did it perfect. You didn't get tired or nothing. Winter Circle, I could have sworn he, that was Music Soul Child when he first started, bro. Because <laughs> I thought yeah, I was him for a minute, but like he started off with that groove and then about halfway in the song, he hit that rap in. Man, when he did that rap, I, I just love how Anderson comes, like he mixes his singing with his rapping and it blends together so well and it just hits you. I, I feel like he has a knack for that style and it's really dope. Yada Yada was dope. King James is fire. Chosen One sounds great. Jet Black, I didn't even notice that was Brandy at first because I was didn't here. You know what? I didn't realize that was Brandy yeah. until this morning. Oh, really? Yeah, I was just like, because I, I never actually looked at the track list when I played yeah, it. Yeah, I was, I was just, just like, hold on. Because no, cause I, I was listening. I was just like, hold on. I went to the computer. Yo, that's Brandy. I was I kind of heard it. But that, I yeah, listened to this joint three times on Friday and didn't notice that was Brandy. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Uh, I didn't what, even know she was there. What, what we can do. <laughs> I, I, I enjoyed it just because I, I, I felt like, you know, the whole skit at the end, he was like, man, yo, cut that, that was out funny. and everything like that. But I, I thought that was cool and it was a dope way to end the album, man. Yeah, see, it, it didn't give, I felt like he was going for that Kendrick with Tupac at the end of the album, Oh, uh, okay. But it didn't work for me like that. It was still funny. Okay. But I, I just, okay, so since we're on the low lights, mm -hmm. that's my main low light is what can we do? It sounded like a Nate Dogg throwaway song in the sense that it didn't sound like Nate though to me. Like he said that he is needed that a, a blowout on bad? his voice. Is that good or is, bad? Is, I think that's what he said at yeah, the end. Yeah, he said I need a blowout on my voice. Yeah, because yeah, I was just like, man, your voice is uh, it, it sounds a little off. Okay. And it just sounds like, like he said, he it was he was just warming up his vocals yeah. on the song and they used it. I wish they could have used a different song because okay. I I know Nate Dog like Nate Dog is like the hook master. Yeah. Uh, Every song he was on in the like '90s and the 2000s was a hit. And, you know, I mean, that was the joke yeah. that Mac Ten said because it ain't a hit unless Nate, Nate Dogg Dog singing on it. on it. Yeah. And then uh, you know it ain't a hit till Nate Dogg spit. And but this one it it, it didn't work for me. But if you would have took Nate Dogg off of it and uh, just let Anderson do his thing, it still came out dope. Okay. Uh, and as far as low light, that's really it. Is is just really the what can we do? And uh, I, I will say when I first listened to it, listened to it, I wasn't initially excited. Because I was just like, man, I like the change in the sound with Oxnard. Okay. You know, to kind of make a U-turn back. I was just like, it's, it's dope. But I kind of want to see, like, you know, progression forward a little bit. Not necessarily saying I want to see him keep rapping. Right, right, right. Not saying I want to hear him keep singing. You know, yeah. I just want to see him do different stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I think Anderson Pack is one of the most versatile artists there are. And I feel like fans may be pressuring him to lean a certain way with his music so sure. i, I would have liked it if this is the album he wanted to make then kudos I, but at the end of the day i still like the album it's still dope yeah man i don't have many low lights at all I, I i was really impressed like i could say you know first listen i was just like yo it's pretty cool chill this is the anderson pack i love but on playback after playback i just found myself just vibing and grooving more so yeah man I felt like he was cheesing the whole time he was recording. Oh, that. yeah. This was definitely a yes, studio love. session where he had everybody coming in, putting their two cents here and there. I saw some on Instagram where he was like, yo, I need a guitarist with a grill that can sing. And he pulled him in. He was like, yo, I'm coming over right now. And like he just started gigging in. So it kind of had that vibe where he was just pulling off the vibe that he was feeling. And he just put that into his music. And I love how that comes together. Yeah, it does. This album, your final thoughts. This album feels like a straight jam session. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's live instrumentation. The drums are on point. You got Dr. Dre helping behind the scenes. And you know what Dr. Dre does to drums when he's engineering and tweaking and all of that stuff. Yeah. Some great ideas. I saw a clip of Dr. Dre taking game song he did with Nipsey mm -hmm. and turning it into something completely different from what it sounded like when Game brought the song in. Wow. And I know when that joint come out, it's gonna go crazy because okay. uh, it's gonna be on games album but we're talking about pack <laughs> i just wanted to point out i saw what dr dre can yeah. do like taking it from zero to 100 yeah. and dr dre the mastermind behind anderson pack i don't see how you can go wrong with that two geniuses 
dope guest appearances, great vocals, great songwriting. Yeah. He's still he's still throwing funny lines in yeah, there. Yeah. He's still he's still spitting. Yeah. Anderson is the guy, man. Yeah, man. Anderson definitely knows how to give you the full package. He knows how to give you a good time. He, he just knows how to make the music that clicks and that sounds good. And I feel like, you know, when you listen to Anderson Package, you're going to come away with something that you like that you want to go back for more he has that appeal that you want to know more about him and more about him and everything like that especially his stage presence and everything like that and i think that he gives a very great impression of what it is to be an artist final grade anderson pack gets a check for me uh i don't so far i don't think i've given anderson pack anything less than like he, oh, he's really so. he's really good yeah. like it's it's Ever since we found him with Malibu, it was just like, yo, this dude right here. Mm -hmm. and we and we been on him ever since, and he ain't did nothing but kill it. I watched his t uh, tiny table joint. Mm -hmm. He killed that. He's on the drums singing. Like, man, Anderson is just a beast, man. He he could freestyle. He rap. He killed uh, um, Funk Master Flex. Mm -hmm. He killed Sway. Yeah. He killed uh, the L.A. Leakers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's talked about, you know, he's going to drop the bomb on it. I'm just like, man, when he was on Flex, yo, what's up with the beat, though? Yeah, 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 yeah. He called him out. He called <laughs> he called uh, Font Fon Ray or whatever his name is, man. He called him out, man. Yeah. Check for me, Anderson Pack. Yeah, Don't man. Don't forget the dot. <laughs> Anderson dot Pack. Check for me, man. Uh, ever since I first heard him on Compton, it was just like, yo, who is this guy? Like, you know, ever since then, I've been rolling with him since. And he's just an amazing, versatile artist. And I think he's just going to go nowhere but up, man. Before I end this joint, I just want to point out that Anderson Pat has a joint called Twilight that is produced by Pharrell Williams. Mm -hmm. Soon as I heard that whack ass beat, I was immediately annoyed. <laughs> as soon as I heard that percussion, I was just like, why does this like when you hear the tone of the rest of the album uh -huh. bro come on tell me you, you didn't hear that the rest of the album sounds so musical and so well thought out and then you get this cheesy percussion sound and bass with these little cheesy ass horns that's your man that song fucked up the album for me <laughs> and that might be why i didn't feel uh what can, what can we do so much because it felt like those two songs take away from the authentic the authenticity of the sound of this project okay everything else sounds so live and so well crafted and then you put well what can we do sounds good like musically and what anderson did but it's just like nate's voice sounding like that just sounds weird to me and twilight it, it's not like the words is bad the beat is bad i do not like the beat at all you like that beat Straight. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, bro, really? Bim, 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 bim. That was cool. Listen to that shit. <laughs> tell me it wasn't. Tell me if it was cool or not. Man.